Hello everybody, welcome back on my channel, thank you for tuning in. Uh, today I wanted to go back uh, to the field I detected last time because I found a very interesting and exciting find uh, the last time. Um, it's a Celtic um, cloak pinhead and uh, yeah, I arrived at the field and I saw that the farmer did something to the field and uh, I don't want to destroy anything there so I moved over to this field here. I think uh, some of you might know it. Uh, it's a field where I found uh, the sword pommel. Uh, very interesting and exciting find too. And I'm hoping for more finds of this kind here today. So uh, keep your fingers crossed and let's see what the day will bring. I made an amazing find, take a look at it. As you can see it's made out of bronze or brass, uh, I assume it's uh, brass and it took me a while <laughs> to recognize what it is but now I'm uh, pretty sure it's uh, a fitting that you had on uh, the stock or the grip of uh, very old guns. Um, it's a fantastic find. Uh, take a look here, you have um, rust. Uh, this is where the screw was. Um, the screw that connected uh, the fitting to the stock. And sometimes you had loops on uh, these screws. Um, I think uh, you can imagine what I'm talking about. If not, just Google uh, old guns and you will see it. It's a fantastic find. Uh, I'm chuffed to bits and uh, yeah it's uh, simply amazing and uh, I think this field here um, has to have a, a battleground history because I also found the uh, sword pommel here um, and now this beauty uh, so some battles uh, must have taken place here which is uh, very exciting for uh, future hunts on this field. What a great day guys, I keep finding one great find at a time, uh, this time it's a silver kreuzer, take a look at this beauty, as you can see it uh, got the uh, typical shape and size of a kreuzer, I think uh, if you keep watching my videos um, you will already recognize them as well. I think I can read uh, 42 here and uh, judging by the shape and by the condition of the coin 
I would guess um, that it's 1842. I don't think uh, that it is an earlier coin. Um, it's well made, but uh, it's definitely silver or a beyond a silver copper alloy. Uh, I love these coins. They come in a huge variety and they are always beautiful. Next wonderful find, and uh, it is a thimble again. Look how well preserved it is. It's not bent or squashed like they usually are on plowed fields. Uh, it's funny because I found uh, another uh, thimble on my last hunt, and uh, it was also. Uh, in a very good condition. Um, it's quite rare, as, as I said before. Um, I really like the pattern of, of this symbol and uh, it's always hard to estimate the age of uh, items like this, but um, I would guess um, that it should be from the 1800s maybe. Uh, wonderful find and I'm having a lot of fun here today on this field. I found another belt hook. Um, I found one before on this field, but uh, the other one was in a much better condition. Uh, this one here um, has to be made out of um, a different material. It's very corroded. Um, these belt hooks were made to uh, keep uh, the military belt in place so that it couldn't slip down. Um, these were sewn uh, to the uniform and uh, it's a military relic. I'm uh, very happy about it. It should be from the First or Second World War. I made a surface find and I can already see what it is. Uh, it's a coin and I'm very excited to find out what it is. Mm. I'm not sure, but I think I can read Fennish. But that's uh, all I can say at the moment. It seems to be made out of a um, copper alloy because of the green patina on the back side I can tell you more about it uh, we have to wait uh, yeah for the cleaned up uh, closer picture My next find shocked me. It's one of these aluminium bronze coins. It's beautifully designed. Um, 
it's got uh, beautiful patterns and I think I can read uh, Kroner <laughs> yeah in Germany um, we call it Krone uh, it's a certain kind of uh, money I know it from uh, Denmark um, but uh, I think uh, there are different uh, other European countries um, where uh, the currency was called uh, Krone in former times. It's a beautiful coin and I'm looking forward to cleaning it because I think there is a crest on it as well. Um, beautifully designed as I said. Um, it's a foreign coin and it's strange how many foreign coins I keep finding here on these fields. It's a beautiful fitting of uh, some sort, beautifully designed. Uh, I think uh, you have flowers and uh, other elements of style. Don't ask me where it came off. Um, I don't think that it is uh, very old. Um, I think uh, 1800s maybe a bit earlier, but uh, I'm not a hundred percent sure about that Exciting moment. It was a beautiful signal. I think here it is. Yeah. Hmm. I think this is a Nazi badge. I think I can see the swastika. Um yeah, on the back side you have uh, the pin or what's left of it. It's made out of aluminium, that's why the signal was uh, very nice. Three steps away from the spot where I found the badge, um, I found this humongous uh, lead bullet. I'm not an ammunition expert, but uh, it has to be old. Um, I would say 1800s. But I will give you um, the measurements of the bullet and maybe someone of you can tell me uh, where it came from. You will certainly know this coin if you frequently watch my videos. Um, it's uh, one of the most common 
coins I keep finding on my fields. I don't know how many I have found so far. Uh, must be a lot. Um, it's 50 aluminium finish and I can see the date already. It's 1920 and uh, this coin is in a beautiful condition um, like uh, most of the times on these fields here um, because on my other fields they normally uh, come out of the ground quite grotty so uh, I don't know what's the difference uh, b between these fields and my old ones. I found uh, the next Nazi badge and um, as you can see it's in a good condition. Aluminium um, can be quite grotty um, but as I said before um, with uh, this uh, uh, coin I found the aluminium 50 Pfennig somehow um, they come out of the ground in a good uh, nick. You can see the German Eagle on this one and the swastika and uh, yeah I think uh, you can see soldiers as well but um, I have to give it a clean maybe no maybe farmers or workers or something like that uh, we will see but uh, it's a very well preserved uh, Nazi badge. It's a beautiful baroque style buckle. Um, I like it very much. It's complete, it's not uh, damaged. Uh, beautiful. I think it's a shoe buckle, but you can't be sure. Quick roundup, we have uh, the amazing gun part, a Nazi badge, um, this is a beautiful shoe buckle, um, a thimble, some kind of fitting, um, this is a belt hook, a chunky uh, lead bullet, another uh, badge from World War II, this is a beautiful coin from Denmark, 50 aluminium pfennig from the 20s. A uh, three Fennig from the mid 1800s and a beautiful little silver Kreuzer. And this is the trash I had to dig today. What a beautiful day it is. Sun is out, it's warm. Um, there's a cool wind going on though. That's why I have to keep on my woolly hat. I really like the finds I made today. They are exciting, especially 
uh, this gun part and uh, it tells a story because as I said before um, I found a sword pommel on this field and uh, maybe there is the possibility that um, a battle has taken place here. Uh, I will definitely try to find out the next times um, I will be on this field. I just hope the farmer doesn't plow and seed the field uh, too soon. We will see. I hope uh, you enjoyed the day uh, out with me detecting as much as I enjoyed filming and uh, detecting and I hope you will stay tuned on my channel and if you haven't subscribed already I would be pleased if you do. Thank you for that. Until next time I wish you good luck and happy hunting. Bye bye, au revoir and auf Wiedersehen.